Hey everybody out there on YouTube, thanks for joining me here on my channel, Stephen Sturgill. I'll be your host for the next few minutes. And I'm going to try to keep my reviews uh, at or below 10 minutes from here on out, accepting special reviews or special episodes. I think maybe I just, I've been getting, uh, or noticing online, there is a consensus that a lot of us are running way too long for the average consumers uh, to their, against their taste. And I definitely don't want to do that, so I'm going to try to somewhat Pared down my review. Okay, with that out of the way, we're looking at a very, very exclusive, uber exclusive, very, very hard to find actual bottles of here in the States, or even in Europe for that matter. Uh, in fact, you pretty much only can find these, I'm told, uh, at the actual boutique stores. That's it. You won't find them anywhere else to my knowledge. Uh, there are starting to be a few that are hitting the uh, eBay from the Russian Federation. Uh, as always, um, just if you pull the trigger on a um, eBay seller, just do your due diligence. Make sure that you really, really trust that seller. Okay, with that preamble out of the way, we're looking at Cartier, House of Cartier, Oud and Oud. <laughs> Uh-oh. This is a very expensive little sample, although not, not that bad, really. Um, real pretty little vial. I believe it's something like a, yeah, it's a 3.5 mils or 0 .11, 0 0.11 fluid ounces, made in France. Oh, ugh. once again on my oud kick. So I'm not going to wear this right now, guys. I wore this the other day, and it's not going to be my scent of the day. But wow, woo! Let me tell you something about this little bad boy and about this awesome juice in here. It is extremely high quality. It smells exceedingly natural. I know that word gets bandied about a lot, especially with the more expensive designer and niche houses, but it does. I've smelled a lot of synthetic stuff and this smells anything like those. Anything but like those, excuse me. Um, the oud in here is not, it is pungent, but it's not overly so. Uh, it is animalic, but not extremely so. Uh, I'm not even going to read a notes breakdown. I don't know what all is supposed to be in there. It says oud and oud, so I suppose there's supposed to be two variations of oud in there. I don't get that at all. What I will tell you that I get primarily, if this makes sense, I get the oud. Again, not overly pungent, a little bit. Animalic, yes, not overly so. I get leather. Some kind of leather cord, animalic, a little bit funky, yet at the same time, mm, both the oud and the leather are quite refined, despite those animalic tendencies. And uh, thirdly, I think I'm getting just a hint of civet or, or castorium, something that's sort of between musk and civet. Not real sure. Uh, that's about it. Uh, on the dry down, it does get softer as time goes by. This is a near beast mode frag, so spray with caution. If you're one of the lucky few to actually get your hands on a real bottle, these retail for, I think, around $300 a bottle. Ballpark. Uh, some of the eBayers out of Rush are selling them for about $280. So. And maybe MSRP at the boutique stores might be... Might be higher, it might be 320 to 350. I'm not sure, and it probably might depend on the actual specific um, variation that you choose to buy. So, with that out of the way, let's take a look at the note breakdown, official note breakdown. That was my personal note breakdown. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm still not really seeing an official note breakdown, but the perfumer I can tell you is uh, Mathieu de Laurent, and he's done, he's the in-house Cartier perfumer who's done just tons and tons and tons of stuff. He's also done some Chalamar, he's done some, which is a Guerlain, or he's done quite a bit of Guerlain, and then he's done pretty much all of the Les Eures de Cartier, uh, which is, you know, their, their gold collection. And uh, beautiful bottles. 
he did uh, Declaration, uh, the Perfume Edition. Uh, he did La Panthea, you know, the Panther. Uh, Louis Vuittus three. He did uh, by the Volix Estrella de Parfum. Beautiful, uh, minimalist bottle. Anyways, check that out, guys. He's done a ton, ton of stuff. I'm, that's, I'm gonna stop my little mini breakdown, <laughs> breakdown there. And let me just check one other website and see if they have the note breakdown. Let's see, bear with me. And if not, we're done. Uh, let's see. Yeah, one of your states, and I would reiterate this that, um, it's highly, he says, highly diffusive, killer uh, siage, but not very strong. Yeah, that's kind of true. Despite its near beast mode essence, I found that um, after the first two hours, it really, really got a lot closer to the skin and, and became softer and softer with each successive hour. Uh, it does smell very elegant, and as it dries on, it smells more unisex. But I will tell you that at the opening, I would say this is like 90% masculine. So, women, beware, um, just beware that uh, it does get softer as time goes on. Um, yeah, they're not real clear what the note breakdown is either. I'm not sure why that is. If, if Cartier is just playing their cards close to their vest, or if no one really has... Strangely enough, gotten gotten their um, gotten this in a lab or whatever. I don't know, but again, that's the best I can do with my limited abilities. Uh, it is very elegant. It smells very high dollar. It is quite animalic and pungent in the opening, although it's very smooth and refined. Definitely not an office scent unless you let it vape off for about maybe two hours or at least an hour before you go in. And I would caution against overspraying. Very mature scent, also very polarizing, so be careful if you don't like musky, oody, funky, pungent, leathery type uh, scents that have a little bit of that civet or castorium note in there, something like that at any rate. That's going to do it, guys. I will see you next time. Same channel, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so you know, what they say? you know what I like to say when I end my episodes? Spray often, spray well, live life on your terms. Peace.